I want to thank my subscribers. I've reached 500 plus. I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for believing in me. God bless you. Thank you so much. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Fashion Star Gold. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to cut and how to sew a velvet drip gown. It's a corset top. The up will be corset. You join it with a skirt, so you will not turn to a gown. That's a corset, very, very draped gown. So I've already cut the corset. I have two videos on how to cut a corset, a normal corset and a triangular corset. So go to my channel, click on it and watch. I have the front here. This is the front side of it. This is the yoke. Of the corset and this is the back side of it this is the back side of it but in this tutorial we are not going to use the yoke it's going to be like this. this is the front side of it the front side of the corset and the back side of the corset so if you don't know how to watch as i said go to my channel click on it and watch so this one is a tight now our concentration is on the front remember that is you have to join it that will be joined to the upside of the corset so the concentration will be on the front of the skirt so this is the side that i'm going to cut the down of the gown Remember, it's a gown. You attach it to a corset. So I want to cut it this way. This style is a style that you have to cut the basic skirt of it and attach to the upside of it. So this is my basic skirt. So I'll come here. I measure eight inches. Then I'll come here and measure five and a half inches. It's not standard, depending on what you want. Like from the picture, you can see that it's just curved this way. It did not curve to this side. So you cough it this way. It depends on what you want. The cough will only be at the front side of it. But if you want it to be at the back side of it also, you can place both the back and the front together and cut the back and the front together this way so this is how it is then from this side the front side of it I'll place a material on it I'll place a material on it this way. So I'm going to use a pin to clip it down. This white lining is acting like a velvet. If you are placing the material on it, you trace out the shape of it. I'm pinning it down. I want to make a drape. There are two ways of achieving this drape. 
and I'm going to show you the two ways. This is the first step. Remember that you start from the middle. This is the middle. The middle is this side. And drag it. Kind of pleating it. Let it have a little drape at the center. The drape does not start from the side. It starts from the center. Then hold it with the pin. Pin it down. That's the first drape. Pin it down at the edge of the front of this case here. Go again. Drag it gently. Pin it down. Go again. As you can see, this the drape has started forming. Go again. Go this way, depending on what you want to achieve. Go again, go to the edge of the skirt, pin it down this way, So you pin it down, still hold it, hold it, hold it, pin it down, pin it, as you are pinning it down, you are stretching it. You stretch it this way, stretch it to the end, pin it down to the end, then cut it off, cut it off like this. There's another way of doing it. So I measure two inches interval. So I'm going to do split and spread. I'll, my aim is for me to achieve a perfect drip. This is how I'm going to do it. The drip will go like this in a curve manner. So I finished drawing the line my drape will be in 10 places that is i measured like this so i'm going to cut it remember it's split and spread i'll not allow it to reach the end the drape will only be at the center to the end so this is my split and spread you look for a material like this or a velvet material remember you are using velvet material then place it this way remember this is the beginning of it the starting point spread it spread this this way on the material spread it this way after spreading it this way then make sure that you have the cutting of this place it has to be exact it has to be the same thing from here then you come here and start cutting on the material as you are cutting you are spreading it 
as we are cutting like this, you are spreading it. Cutting, you are spreading it. You cut, you are spreading. Make sure that it doesn't shift. Spread it and cut, spread it and cut to the end. So after spreading and cutting it, you will now be able to fold it well. It will have a perfect drape on it. You are not going to struggle. Like the first one, you'll be struggling. But the second one now, this spread and split and spread, it will be easier for you to drag it because there's so much allowance inside. It's going to be like this. It will be folded to the end. So these are the two ways of cutting it. Remember there's something like, like this. After you finish sewing it, Let me place the pattern back. After you finish sewing it, after you finish the draping, then you fold this end like this. Remember this side will be folded. You can pleat it, pleat it and sew it at the edge of the fabric. Then you pleat this one. As you are pleating, you stretch it, stretch it down to the end and use a pin and secure it. Come to the second pleat, stretch it down, drag it down to the end and clip it. Come to the third pleat, drag it down like this drag it to the end and clip it after clipping it sew it this way sew this one when you finish it place it like this and sew at the edge edge of the gown then it will drop like this so this is how this drape will drop while this one will be pleated this way I need to sew it with the material when I sew it with my own material I will then show it to you so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so this is a way of showing you how to join the drape how to do it there are two ways as I said so please just follow it and sew, sew your own thank you so much god bless you bye